And nobody knew about Chino Hills until a couple years ago. And everybody knew about it. It's my home. Chino Hills is on the roll. They had a winner in the Powerball, and they also have one in high school basketball. Their undefeated team is ranked number one in the entire country. That is our goal, to be number one in the nation, to be undefeated. You know, our guys deserve it. You know, they work harder. And it's Chino Hills in the D1 title game. It's our second monster game. You think he can be as good as Steph Curry in the NBA? Heck no! He's going to be better than Steph Curry in the NBA. We've seen some elite high school basketball teams over the past decade. 2020 Montverde, 2014 Matter Day, and 2012 Oak Hill. But man, Chino Hills in 2016? That squad was on another level. Two future top three picks in the NBA draft, Wanzo and LaMelo Ball. A future top 10 pick in the NBA draft, Onyeka Okongwu a future NBA G-leaguer, Leangelo Ball, and two more Division I basketball players, Eli Scott, LMU, and Andre Ball, Pepperdine. And of course, we can't forget about LeVar Ball and his antics. We'll get much deeper into that in a moment. But how good was Chino Hills actually? And why are they considered one of the best teams in high school basketball history? Well, for starters, the team went 35-0 on the season, they won their state championship, and they finished as the number one ranked high school basketball team in the country. Three players from that team, Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball, and Onyeka Okongwu were eventually second, third, and sixth overall picks in the NBA draft, respectively. They even became the first high school basketball team ever to have three lottery picks. The Ball brothers were the headliners, of course, but it wasn't just because of the big mouth and antics of their father, LaVar Ball. They were not just dominating on the court, they were selling out arenas and creating a buzz in high school basketball that had not been seen in a very long time. It truly felt that Chino Hills was the face of high school basketball at that time, with the likes of Ball is Life, Overtime, and even ESPN covering these guys constantly. And going back to LeVar Ball, LeVar was starting to stir up national attention with his bold predictions about his sons, but you couldn't blame him considering how next level his boys were. But how did this pairing even come together? Well, it truly was not until 2016, because in 2015, Lonzo's junior year, the Huskies lost in overtime in the California Division I state championship, which came without LaMelo Ball and Onyeka Okongwu, who were not eligible to play until their freshman year of high school in 2016. With all the Ball brothers on one team for the final go-around in 2016, expectations were certainly high at Chino Hills. And let's not forget, LaMelo was still 13 at the time, and actually skipped a grade to even be able to play on that Chino Hills team, marking the only season that all of the Ball brothers could play together in high school. At first, nobody really knew much about Chino Hills. They weren't the biggest names in high school basketball just yet, but with the entire 2016 squad assembled, they were ready to make their mark. Chino Hills won its first game of the 2016 season by a score of 131-42. to That game was in fact one of 18 times the Huskies broke the 100-point mark that season as they rolled to an undefeated record in the California Open Division State Championship. The 2016 Huskies were so good that Max Preps named them the 8th best high school basketball team since the turn of the century. Now, let's break down that starting lineup, because honestly, it was like a dream team. Lonzo Ball, who was later drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers, was running the point. His brothers, Leangelo, who was undrafted, and LaMelo, who was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets, were both on the wings, wreaking havoc for opponents. And let's not forget the big men, Onyeka Okongwu and Eli Scott. And you've got yourself a squad that played run-and-gun basketball like nobody's business. They weren't just winning games, they were crushing opponents very comfortably and dropping 100 points like it was a casual thing. Coach Bake, who saw Lonzo's potential way back in sixth grade, couldn't have been prouder. 
he called that 2016 team an international phenomenon. And honestly, he wasn't wrong. Lonzo even averaged a triple-double in his senior season, averaging 24 points, 11.5 assists, and 11.3 rebounds per game. He also averaged a ridiculous 5.1 steals and 1.9 blocks per game that season. He was a one-man wrecking crew, and his performance saw him being named the All-USA Boys Basketball Player of the Year the Naismith High School Basketball Player of the Year, and the Morgan Wooten Player of the Year. But it wasn't just about Lonzo. You had Lamelo, a freshman, and Leangelo, a junior, holding down the wings. And let's give Leangelo his props, too, because he often does get overlooked. He was a scoring machine, scoring 27.4 points per game. And then there was the freshman 6'9 sensation Onyeka Okongwu holding it down in the paint. So yeah, 2016 Chino Hills wasn't just good, they were as perfect as you could ever imagine. The fact that these three brothers from a small public school in Chino Hills completely took over high school basketball and lived up to all the hype while doing it was pretty impressive. They weren't just dominating locally, they were national, and they quickly jumped into the top 10 and eventually became the number one team in the country. They were taking down teams left and right, including defeating a total of 11 programs that were ranked in the national top 50. Some of those notable wins came against Bishop Montgomery, Matterday, and Montverde. But what made them click exactly? Their chemistry. And it wasn't just because they had three brothers. The whole team complemented each other perfectly and ran a run-and-gun system that was unstoppable. Transition offense was their bread and butter. These guys ran the court like their lives depended on it, with Lonzo leading the charge with his elite court vision. They pitched the ball ahead at every opportunity and played with a reckless abandon that most coaches couldn't counter. When they were on, which they usually were, opponents couldn't keep up. Defense wasn't a break for opponents either. Chino Hills full court pressed relentlessly. The press led to an immense amount of turnovers before even reaching half court, and if opponents ever even made it to the basket, Okongwu, that 6'9 monster, was contesting everything at the rim. The pressing, combined with their transition offense, were the main elements of Chino Hill's playstyle. You tried running with them, you were in a world of hurt. Half-court offense? Sure, they could do it, but why bother when you're the kings of transition? Lonzo Ball had a fantastic individual season, but the additions of future top 10 NBA draft picks Lamelo Ball and Onyeka Okongwu were key to their historic season. And oh, the critics? People called them gimmicky, said they were not playing real basketball. But guess what? The Huskies' unique playstyle was flourishing, and the results were hard to argue with. They didn't just beat local teams, they went across the country and smacked down prep schools. But the other biggest reason for why Chino Hills became the most polarizing high school team ever? Well, it was because of the man himself, LeVar Ball. Now we all know that LeVar Ball is a very ambitious man, and it's not just because of the big baller brand, pulling his two youngest sons out of Chino Hills to play in Lithuania, or even forming his own basketball league, the JBA, it's for the roles he played in making sure his sons made it to the NBA, and of course not just making it, but becoming the best. In an interview back in 2017, LeVar declared Lonzo will outshine none other than Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, the same Curry who had just won back-to-back -back MVPs, the first ever unanimous MVP and an NBA championship. LeVar had an unprecedented level of confidence that lacked any realistic expectations at times. In another interview, he compared Lonzo to Magic Johnson, calling him Magic Johnson with a jumper. The Ball family's popularity was skyrocketing as they were featured in magazines, TV shows, and eventually their own reality show, Ball in the Family. Interestingly, in November 2016, LeVar said that he was confident that UCLA would win the 2017 NCAA tournament, all thanks to Lonzo leading the charge. But when they got bounced in the Sweet 16 after a historic 39-point performance from De'Aaron Fox, he started playing the blame game. 
Oh, and on December 14, 2017, he predicted that all three of his sons would be one-and-done college players and would all go straight to the NBA. Now, the big question, is LeVar Ball the overbearing dad that hindered the growth of his sons, or is he the mastermind behind a basketball marketing revolution? If LeVar's crystal ball is accurate, we're in for a basketball revolution and an influence that has lived on for almost a decade. But we cannot ignore the fact that LeVar has been writing checks with his mouth for years and that his sons will have to either cash in or face the casualties of their dad's hype. From comparing Lonzo to basketball legends like Magic Johnson and Stephen Curry, to even saying he himself would beat Michael Jordan in a 1v1, LeVar never holds back. He's got his apparel company, Big Baller Brand, because why should someone else make all the money off his kids? That's a fair point, isn't it? But let's not forget the eyebrow-raising claim that his three sons are worth a cool $1 billion shoe deal. You truly never know what's next with this man. Anyways, back to Chino Hills. They beat Florida private school powerhouse Montvert, which had future Duke star and number three overall pick RJ Barrett on its roster. Yet some still criticized Chino Hills as gimmicky. In the playoffs, the Huskies were even more dominant against the toughest playoff competition in California, defeating eight opponents by an average of 29 points in the CIF Southern Section and SoCal Open Division playoffs, including beating Bishop Montgomery 84-62. They shut the haters up real quick. In the state semifinals, the Huskies brushed off Matter Day 102-54 who were coached by Gary McKnight, one of the most successful coaches in California history. In the championship, Chino Hills beat De La Salle 70-50 to win its first state title in school history. It was indeed a remarkable and unforgettable season, and aside from being the best high school basketball team in the nation, they were literally entertainers. The Ball brothers signed autographs after games, and the lines to get in were insane. Students were ditching school early just to secure a spot, and reporters had to leave home hours before tip-off just to find parking. Probably the most intriguing part of this success was that all of these guys were homegrown. They weren't recruiting or getting transfers. They were the pride of Chino Hills, putting this unknown small town on the international basketball map. After the season, Lonzo, who currently plays for the Chicago Bulls, went to UCLA where he played for one season before the Lakers drafted him number two overall in the 2017 NBA Draft. Lamelo and Onyeka would later follow the NBA path in the 2020 Draft. Lamelo Ball is an all-star point guard for the Charlotte Hornets, and Onyeka plays for the Atlanta Hawks. For LiAngelo Ball and Eli Scott, Jello last played for the Charlotte Hornets G League affiliate, the Greensboro Swarm, while Eli Scott plays in Slovakia. It's safe to say this 2016 Chino Hills squad has come a long way and will forever be remembered as one of the best and most iconic high school basketball teams ever. What do you guys think? Do you think Chino Hills is the best high school basketball team of all time? A good run for their money would absolutely be 2020 Montvert that featured five NBA players. Let us know in the comments below.